Hello, my name is Ruby, I'm from Queensland, Australia, and I'm 11 years old. And this is my piece about empathy. Captured, a snapshot from the stolen generation. Australia, 1950. My hands quivered as I was seized by the icy tendrils of my cat door. My reflection was caught on the wing mirror of a, dis of a disintegrating, rusty, once pristine and shining silver car. As I gained momentum, I captured a glimpse of a dead tree through the heat haze in the distance, silhouetted like a solitary soldier amongst the moving landscape. My heart was bursting out of my chest. It felt like I couldn't breathe, suffocating in my own scrambled thoughts. The red desert was no more evaporating in front of me, a lifeless, desolate plateau of nothing. Crimson, velvety microbes of dust turned towards luminous lights, blinding neon high-rises and towering buildings, staring down at my pathetic, puny form with a dismissive frown. I am utterly overwhelmed by their unfamiliarity. Without warning, I was shoved forcefully into a bleak and hostile environment. It lacked that same comforting, warm, blanket-like feeling. I could still feel my mother's flesh, her fresh, dewy de tears on my back as they wrenched me roughly from her grasp. I would never forget the terrified look on her face, an unimaginable scene playing out before her stupefied gaze. I could never forget my native home, the scent of rain on the gum leaves and the sound of the black cockatoos squawking their early morning chorus. These memories comfort, comfort, comforted and reassured me as I thought of them, a calm landscape of serenity. To settle my shattered emotions, I was utterly dumbstruck by how they would perform such a reckless and unprovoked act towards me. Tomorrow, I was hoping to be freed forever from this claustrophobic cell of emotions, although my thoughts were rapidly racing. I had been a good, virtuous, unselfish individual for the majority of my life. What reasons did they have to take away my culture, my language, my family, my deeply ingrained roots and proud history? I was truly perplexed. Why did they do this? Questions unanswered, my inner voice destroyed, my life gone, my family torn apart. Why is life like this? My life is not my own. No ancient dreamtime stories at bedtime. No wisdom passed down from generations of elders. They feared my indigenous roots, my unique voice. They feared me telling my own story. They wanted to change everything about me and make me one of them. A soulless, mindless vacuum an entity, a number, not an individual.